three and senators left the state capitol late last night after more than six hours of deliberating in the impeachment trial of suspended attorney general Ken Paxton without reaching a final verdict. Our investigative reporter Tanya Iser has been covering this trial from the very beginning, providing digital coverage, extensive digital coverage. She's been live throughout the trial with legal and political experts. Uh, Tanya, senators resumed deliberations about 30 minutes ago. What do we know at this point? I saw you on your cell phone, probably on the phone with your contacts. Absolutely. I just got off the phone with Teresa Woodard, who just told me that we have gotten word that this vote will be taken at 1030. And what we'll see, based on what we've heard, is they will do votes on each impeachment article, each of the 16 impeachment articles. And then we're going to know what they have decided. I've got with me this morning uh, Bud Kennedy, um, who is a Fort Worth Star-Telegram columnist, and also Matt Yarbrough, who uh, is a local attorney and also used to work in the attorney general's office uh, during the tenure of John Cornyn. Bud, where do you think things stand? Well, I, I, I have said all along, I think they knew going into the trial how they were going to vote. I think it came down to about a one vote margin. It's just a question of, you know, whether they were able to nudge anybody one way or the other. I think it was either going to be 20 to 10 or 21 to 9. Uh, they may have been able to push the votes and say, hey, some more of y'all come on over so it doesn't look like a, such a split. But uh, I think they already knew and they're ready to vote. Matt, what role do you think closing arguments, uh, the, the closing arguments we heard yesterday will, will play in this? I thought they were very powerful. I'm, I thought especially having Jim Leach with that last minutes on, 10 minutes on rebuttal, uh, the, the moment he hit the podium and looked over at Busby and said, I love Kim Paxson, he's been my friend, uh, and the words that he said, I think just knocked out Busby's entire closing argument and made it very personal for the senators there. Um, it, and, and I also think that they really hit great themes uh, in, in their closing about, um, you know, there is no coincidence that this is, uh, you know, in Austin, they went through each one of those incidences and that repetition of hitting what the contacts between Nate Paul and Paxton. So it'll be interesting to see if that closing by Leach, because I think having the house managers up there really took away also the politics and all the uh, conspiracy theory stuff that they've been dropping into this throughout their cross examinations and I wonder if that was enough bud to kind of move it just one more vote in their favor. You know I, I think that those uh, have all been forgotten today I think we're back to politics and the Paxton supporters are saying hey let law enforcement and the FBI take care of Ken let's move ahead with conservative leadership and cons conservative uh, you know, movement in the Senate for the for the good of the people of Texas, and uh, you know, and that the House shouldn't have sent this over anyway. That this was sent over at the end of the session to be a nuisance to the Senate. So I think that the Paxton senators are, are ready to dispose of this, just like they were at the beginning. The uh, the the people who are for impeachment uh, are moved by some of the testimony, believe that justice needs to be done, and kind of probably thought there was something wrong all along. I, I love the theme and closing of service you know, service to the state, service to Texans, and uh, how important that is, reminding the senators of their commitment to Texas, not to Ken Paxton. Uh, and I, you know, basically that he serves at the pleasure of Texans and the people for his own office. Right, and at 1030, what we're gonna, what we're gonna see is we'll have these 30 senators um, who will be making this decision. It's gonna take the 12 Democrats plus at least nine Republicans to, for, the, for them to sustain one of these articles. And then, you know, to Bud's point, we'll see, did they get there or not? Yeah. And we'll know, we should know probably by 11 o'clock where, where this is gonna end up. Different senators may vote y uh, yay or nay on different articles. And then of course, if, if he's removed, then we another vote on whether to bar him from seeking future office. Okay, well, we'll send it back um, to the anchors.